are y'all doing today? Uh, we're good. Super. Do you like short answers or long answers? Short. Long. long. Both. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You just got the most long-winded people yeah. you're ever going to yeah, meet. We're a couple, yes. We're a couple talkers over here. Oh, yeah. We'll just keep talking. I'm going to keep my name first. Uh, from the uh, second season, uh, the story. Yes. Right, yes. Uh, I give all of this is more uh, fun than the first. Well, cool. here's the secret. We've been working on the first season. Okay. <laughs> we are new showrunners. We were brought in second season to take the show in a slightly different uh, direction. Um, first season was sort of the beginning of the Charm Ones. It set up the new world. It set up them figuring out their powers. Season two takes them into a whole new world. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but you should go watch it right now. <laughs> um, but um, it, it's a very epic and very different tone. It's very cinematic. It's very... Um, it's deeper into mythology, it's serialized, and it has a central mystery at its core um, that will honestly has so many unexpected twists. I think people who watch season one won't believe what season two does to the mythology. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. And I guess I'll say that, you know, I, I like, I'm a genre person, like, I love genre stuff mostly sci-fi, but I love fantasy, I love all this stuff. And this show allows us to build on a giant canvas. You know, there's no need, there's no need to stay in like Hilltown and have demons come to you. There's this magic, you know, it's like Harry Potter. It's, it could be a giant canvas. And so we're really, really trying to set a framework in the very first episode that like, blows open the whole concept of the show. and lets you understand that the more the mythology on a larger scale, demons, which is other characters, how they're all related. Yeah, like the origin of the magical world. Like, did you ever wonder where witches and demons came from? Right. But also, I <laughs> literally was wondering when I was watching Yoji and also when I was watching this version, I was like, why are they fighting all the time? Like, what is exactly going on here between demons and witches that makes them, why, why are they in this epic battle and what's it, what's underneath all that? It hasn't really been looked at and I, I think that's a lot of the fun of this season is looking into that. I know one of the fan favorite episodes from last season was um, the one where they found a spell from their mother Marisol and it was right. written in Spanish and it was a Santeria based spell. Right. Are we going to delve into that mythology a little bit more, go into their Latina heritage and pull out some monsters from there? Well it's interesting because what we have learned and you know we have a writer's room where we have a, a people from all different backgrounds which is very cool and because magic if you realize like magic in every culture exists in some form so it's like it all comes from the same well um, but it was sort of um, translated in different ways and so we kind of lean into that idea as they did in the first season which is that magic comes from um, a multitude of cultures like it, it existed before even there were cultures right? right so we sort of delve into it from that aspect but um, Yes, I mean, we actually have somebody on the staff who is very into Santer Santeria and knows a lot about it. So we do infuse the, um, the storytelling with that stuff. And she's she's like an expert and really knows the stuff. So yeah, yeah. I, think, I think she put a curse on I was asking um, uh, Melanie and Sarah earlier about like um, how magic is used to cope with sometimes trauma and things like that. Right. Well, I know uh, Charm for sure delves into this. Well, what do you think of that? It's a really interesting uh, thought. I mean, you know, I think for us in this season, we look at magic as sort of the, it's sort of like a metaphor um, for power, right? I mean, it's like finding your power. And last year they were finding their magical powers. And I think this season we were trying to look at what are their powers as human beings, you know? So we're sort of looking at the magic through that prism. I mean, that's not necessarily your question, but it sort of dovetails yeah, it into does. it. Like, because, you know, magic is power that comes easy, and this season it doesn't come as easy. Um, they have to work hard at it, and they have to think about what is their power as an individual, in addition to what are their magical powers. Like, so we're looking at empowerment on sort of two levels, both the li literal and the um, metaphor. Right. And it certainly helps with trauma. Right. And also, yes. we, yeah. we like to look at power also as like in any good sci-fi, you know, superhero, anything, the, the powers have to come with a cost. They're, they don't come cost-free, and part of what we're doing this season is exploring what is the cost of having this kind of power, and are you willing to pay that cost? You know, and how can you work do work work around it, and how can you learn to live with it, and what can you really accept? The personal cost right. of greatness. That, I think, is a really interesting idea that we do delve into, the, the cost of greatness, and like, what do you have to give up? to achieve greatness.
Thank you. The original charm had a lot of that, like as far as personal gain and that consequence thing. Is that how you're going to try to tie it into the original again a little bit? Like, okay. Um, I don't think we're at all really tying it into the original at all. I think the original is its own, stands on its own, and I think this is just a new show, you know, and so we're just sort of telling the story from, you know, the standpoint of these three women and them coming into their powers and, um, you know, how does that manifest for the stories in their particular life, you know, with their own challenges and their own heartache and, you know, the death of their mother and, um, I don't want to give up any other storylines, yeah, yeah. but there are, Oh, you there's know, so many good spoilers. Yeah, already. there are spoilers, but, you know, I think, again, like, I feel like, you know, in the same way like Battlestar Galactica, nobody asked people about Lauren Green, you know, I mean, they were, like, do you even know who Lauren Green is? <laughs> the original, okay. the original Adama oh, yeah. in the 70s, it's... It is exactly the same idea as the as our what we know as Battlestar, but it is totally and completely different. They reimagine the whole thing, even though the framework for it is basically right. the and same. I think They're it's the same. Trying to kill I think it's humans. the same. I think this is just it's a new show, but it has the same. You know, it has connectivity to the original, which is sisterhood, and that's a beautiful thing. Um, but it's a new show. It stands on its own. I appreciate that it's its own thing. And it it's is. different. Uh, I just think it's it's a little tricky for fans of the original one because it's we had an idea of what we wanted that to be, which was the kids taking over the magic um, and being able to adapt them all into it. So you have taken the show and changed it a lot. Well, we didn't do the first season. Hard. Well, here's the thing. We didn't do the first hard season, but doing the second season, I think people have to just look at it as a new show and a new idea. And I know it's very disappointing because people want things to be what they want. And you always have fans, even when you are loyal, 100% loyal, you will have fans who will say, that's not what I wanted and stuff. I think people just have to be open. These are very talented young women and women and they're so wonderful and the stories we're telling are wonderful and they're different yeah. and it's just sort of you just open your hearts to a different story right i think of, i do think of it like sabrina also you know sabrina i don't think sabrina is great yeah. but that There's is not exactly to, connected to the old sabrina it's right. I, I mean the old sabrina was what it was and it was a huge hit but this is a different it was a sitcom that was all yeah. the same right. names of the cast and everything yeah. right yeah. so you just yeah. look at it that way and say it's like it's a new uh it's a new idea of an old story that's really what it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. Thank you, Mr. Oh, okay. Thank you so much.